Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Coach Calvin, man. I just want to sit there and say this was a hell of a weekend, but this message go out to all AB fans. Now, I want to give a special shout out to my Lord, first and foremost. But, man, AB, you did a great job, man, from start to finish, man. Uh, I want to thank my Lord for blessing you for coming into our camp and putting your all in, there, man, because you definitely put it in. I want to say to you is this. You have nothing to be ashamed about, man. You put in that work, man. Man, you came in the camp and you came to and you just gave yourself to us. Um, man, I can't believe the transition that you went through. Man, you came through, man, and really, really worked, man, in this show, man. Everybody don't understand you. When you got hit, you felt, I thought it was your fist. It was actually your elbow, man. But them last rounds and the rounds that you put in, you kept coming like, yo, I can't throw it. And I asked you, man, you put it in for me, man. You put it in. And that shows a true, true professional, man. Yo, it's all you have to do is just stay focused. You know, that was a good understanding of willpower. That was a nice heartfelt message. Calvin, Coach Cal, and uh, shout out to Coach Cal. Brona, Brona was doomed from the start, if you think about it. Number one, he switched trainers in the middle of training camp. And when he got to Cal and Kenny, he was, all, he was still overweight. That's problem number one. Problem number two, because you only fought, what, twice in like five years? And ain't no telling, let's see. A year ago, almost to the day, when he fought last, then you go back another two years from there, then another two years, if I'm not mistaken, from there. So when you're when you're getting older and you and you do stuff like that, your reflexes start to fade because of that too. Now and your timing, it messes with all of that. So he was doomed from the start. Now, Adrian Broner could just say, you know what? I'm tired, I'm old, I'm washed up, I'm done, whatever, I'm retired. Or he could he could try to do it the proper way and that's get active, real active, take about two or three tune-up fights. And when I say tune up fight, somebody he'll beat the brakes off of. We know he'll beat the brakes off of. But just to, just to stay active and getting in the ring and actually boxing. Stay in camp. Tank Davis right now is the best example Adrian Broner can have. The boy stand in the gym. You see how he used to look compared to now. He, he's transformed his body. He used to walk around at like 180. He walking around at like 140 now, 145 at the max. So he, he basically walking around almost at his fight weight. That's what Adrian Broner should have been doing years ago. He had the perfect example back then in Floyd Mayweather, but he didn't follow it. And and now see Floyd, Floyd don't tolerate stuff like that. You know, you calling yourself the next Mayweather, I need you to dedicate yourself. That was his problem with Adrian. A lot of people don't understand. He know Adrian squandered his career and he didn't want to be, he didn't want to be next to that. The same way he warned Tank early, early in his career, dude, I need you in Vegas with me. And once, once uh, Tank finally came out to Vegas, that's when Fat Tank disappeared and you start seeing this guy in shape Tank. So that's that's what Broner need to do. He need to he need to stay with Tank, stay with Kenny and them. Really come on out to Vegas if he really want to be serious. It's probably too late still, but if you really go get serious about your career, you need to have Don King to line you up at least two fights quickly. If your elbow need healing, that's one thing, but you need to be back in the ring as soon as possible. Get active. Get your reflexes back. Get your timing back. Maybe your hand speed too. Blair Carr warned him. He told him straight up in front of his face. He was like, yeah, I, I saw you up there. And, and Kenny got smart and got Adrian up out of that ring. 
But Blair had already seen what he needed to see. He said, dude, you're slow. You're slow. And he said he said he thought Adrian was out of gas. Now, I will say this. It didn't look like he ran out of gas. It just looked like he looked old. But part of that, like I said, is from not fighting. But two times in five years, one time in the last year, you, you got to you gotta be more more active than that especially at this age because it that that messes with your reflexes messes with your timing and you wind up getting beat by guys <laughs> that probably aren't better than you but are better than you on that night because of circumstances and i think kenny knows that more than anybody but that's pretty much all i got to tell bust some boxes on fight doctor hit that like button hit that share button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell hit me up in the comment section let me know should that be the end of age of world me personally probably but i've seen stranger things happen in boxing where people have revived their career for a couple more years at the end of the road so maybe he does have something he can pull out but it gotta be staying active in my opinion but that's my opinion you give me yours this hair blessing boxes on fight dr i am out